This is rope in the raw. It starts as sisal from a plantation in East Africa and coils up as the hauling rope for an ocean-going liner. Information, please. Let's see how it's done. Here's step number one of what the trade calls preparing the sisal. This process is spreading. The machine combs the separate fibers in the rough coil, laying them side by side in the scale. This is an essential preliminary to the spinning of the sisal. The chief function of spinning is to impart a twist to the sliver, as the sisal is now called. Twisting, in turn, produces a stronger thread in which all the separate strands cling together naturally. Another term from the rope maker's technical vocabulary, doffing which is the process of taking out full bobbins and replacing them with new ones. Over now to the bobbin banks for another important chapter in the story of rope. Here the strands are reeved, drawn through a register plate which gathers the individual strands together. This mechanism imparts a further twist in the opposite direction to the twist given in the spinning process. This is the rope ground, 384 yards long, or, since rope makers always reckon in nautical terms, 193 fathoms. Now in three strands, the rope passes over a center hook while machines at either end of the warp ground twisted into a single rope. And here's the finished product. Seven-inch rope with a breaking strain of how much? 18 tons.